When Josh Duggar was released on bail, critics of the known sexual predator were shocked that he had encountered such leniency. Despite the heinous severity of the crimes he is accused of, the 33-year-old is a free man, pending his trial later this year. For many, the only silver lining in the situation was the fact that Josh would not be permitted to live with his wife and six children. In fact, the father of six isn't be allowed to live with any children, at all for fear that he might claim more victims for most sex offenders which he is. By his family's own admission such restrictions would require them to remain in jail until their trial. But, of course, Josh is the son of the most powerful man in town. Therefore, it wasn't long before before Jim Bob was able to locate a couple who could be talked into housing his disgraced son. Maria and Lockhound rather are friends of Jim Bob's who fulfilled all the requirements to serve as Josh's guardians. Their two children have already reached adulthood, so it's not a violation of Josh's release that he live there. Still, many questions remain. The original story provided to the court was that the Rebbers were happy to assist the Duggar family in whatever way possible. Eventually, however, word got out that the Rebbers entered into this arrangement very hesitantly. Testifying during his bail hearing, Josh's parole officer, Dean Nguyen, revealed that Maria Rubber had expressed serious concerns about sharing with someone like Josh. Her concern was she was a woman and Josh was a man and that she felt she didn't know how she felt about being alone with him for a long period of time, in a guide said. The officer noted that Maria and La Count owned firearms, and their 22-year-old daughter teaches piano lessons to children in their home. Now, new court documents obtained by Radar Online indicate that the Rebbers quickly came to regret the deal they had made with Josh and Jim Bob. Their statement to prosecutors indicates that they hoped Josh would be kept behind bars. The DA's portion of the transcript begins the court needs to take into consideration under the statute is the nature and the seriousness of the danger to any person or the community that would be posed by Mr. Duggar's release. We know he is capable of hands-on offenses because he has engaged in them in the past. And we know that the child pornography that Mr. Duggar was looking at involves the sexual abuse of toddlers and young children. From there, prosecutors delved into Josh's sordid past in their effort to convince the judge that he shouldn't be released on bail. He has a history, a history dating back 20 years, that shows his sexual attraction to children and the deviousness of his activity," said the DA. The couple, according to the DA, showed some hesitancy in talking about initially whose idea and whose decision this was. The prosecutor went on to say that the Rebbers appeared to be acting entirely out of a sense of loyalty to the Duggars. We understand that they have loyalty to Jim Bob and Michelle Duggar and want to be a good friend and want to take Josh Duggar in, the Da went on. They state that they are willing to change the way they they live their whole lives in order to do this. Maria is also a music teacher who has students who come in and out of the home. In the end, however, the Rubber's statements in court conflicted with what they had told prosecutors and Josh was released. Since then, it seems Maria and La Count's lives have been a nightmare from the start. Someone in the rubber home called 911 on the very first night of Josh's release. Moreover, insiders say Maria has become understandably annoyed that an Duggar has essentially moved into their home. That was not part of the arrangement, and it's unclear who is taking care of her kids, but in any case, it's happening. And to make matters worse, already, Josh's lawyers have had his trial pushed back from July to November, succeeding in achieving at least some delay. The prosecution remains confident in its case at trial, but in the meantime, the Rebbers will be hosting Josh for a while.